The best tip I have for how to be more confident is always remember you're not that important. Nobody's thinking about you that much. Therefore, go do whatever you want without fear. Just be fearless. I never said these were going to be good confidence tips. They're my confidence tips. Here's the topic. Everybody keeps asking me to do a video on confidence because I seem to be so confident. Now I'm not quite sure what you're looking for, so I will just tell you what I think works. I may even tell you a few personal stories because how can I tell you to be more confident if I don't know you, but I can tell you what I do. Go find a baby picture of yourself. There you go. That's my baby picture. Look at me. It's a beaten up picture. I've only got one of them, but look at that baby. Throw darts at that baby. While we're on the topic of my baby picture, I'm going to pull out a little bit. I want you to notice the size of my head. That is a ginormous noggin. I bring that up because I'm going to tell a little personal story. This photo was taken right before I went into surgery where they drilled a couple of holes in my head to relieve fluid from my brain because I have hydrocephalus. If you don't know what hydrocephalus is, it's a condition that is water on your brain that usually causes people to be mentally challenged. Is that the right term? I don't know what the right term is. But see, now here's a question. If I'm talking about me, can't I refer to myself as retarded without that being offensive? I'm calling myself retarded, okay? Just so we're clear. So if I'm sitting at a table with anyone, you can out quote unquote smart me but did you start off with a diagnosis of probably having to be in an institution because you would never function well? That's what I started out with and I turned out all right. So that's confidence on your intelligence. Now let's talk about confidence on your appearance. Now you may say, easy for her to say she looks pretty good. Thank you but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. A lot of people might think I'm butt ugly and I don't care. Why do I stay confident about my appearance? One, because I have a very nice rack. But another reason I have the confidence about my appearance is because that too should not have panned out well for me. I've mentioned this before. I smashed my face when I was seven. I fell head first on the asphalt and smash my face so all of my teeth are fake because I knocked them out when I was seven and didn't get them permanently replaced until I was 15. And every time I get my teeth fixed I take a photo of myself to remind myself what I looked like in my formative years but I said to myself if one day I could just have normal teeth if people would stop asking me what was wrong with my face if I could get my lips to look nice and even I will never complain about what I look like ever again. Therefore, it's all good enough. Now for the men specifically out there. Men always ask me, what is the most confident way to approach a woman? 